Yeah, hey, yo guys, my name is Legend and welcome to my YouTube channel. Very good start to this video. I lost my GoPro because the mount is kind of effed up. And whenever I look down, the GoPro just slides off of the mount. And I was trying to look down. To see where the shifter was, because it's really far back. But today, I'm on a two-stroke, rides really, really weird, it's a Kajiva Mito 125. And I'm test riding it, it's a subscriber's bike, same guy that uh, has the, or had the Aprilia SX that I test rode, and he's behind me. So that's what we're doing. I have one of these as well, standing in my shed. First thing I notice is how freaking low this bike sits to the ground. God damn, I'm afraid to look down. I'm afraid to look down because my GoPro is gonna fall again, I know it. But oh well. I don't know if the angle of the GoPro is any good as well now either stuck behind this car but uh, it's an awesome bike it's so lightweight this bike actually sounds pretty decent unlike my meter which has a blown exhaust but it's so lightweight it's i think it's even more lightweight than my r125 is and it has twice the power so it's a very uh, very lightweight, very nimble bike, good power for an 125. It doesn't have much torque in these lower RPMs, but I haven't had the chance to open it up yet. Apparently the higher RPMs is where the party is at, which is the complete opposite of my Suzuki. Which I have been enjoying. Let's see if we can pass this guy on the straight. Nope, there's a car coming. It's so weird, like, I, I'm not really sure what gear I'm supposed to be in on two strokes. Because I'm so used to rev matching. And pretty, pretty fun so far. It's crazy how much power these little two stroke engines have. Always blows my mind. Oh. It's weird, like, I'm in this weird position where this doesn't... Oh, where this doesn't really feel that powerful because I'm so used to my Suzuki but I do appreciate it a lot coming from my R125 pretty recently. Trying to not engine brake because that's what he told me, don't engine brake. Clutch and gauge is pretty late as well. Yeah, it really starts to pull in the high, higher RPMs. Let's see if we can 
Turn around. Ooh, the sun is pretty blinding. Very nimble, man. I'm not really taking aggressive corners because this is not my bike, but I can tell this would be amazing on a twisty road. This bike is so aggressive as well, like seating position wise. But it uses fuel like crazy. This uses more fuel than my Suzuki, which is a, a 650. Whoa, that rear brake is aggressive. Oh man, the sun is blinding me, so I can't see any oncoming traffic. Like this corner just appearing out of nowhere. Man, I cannot wait until I get my Kajiva Mito running. It's an older one. I think it's a few years older than this one. It's a Lucky Strike one. I'll put some pictures on screen. Don't mind my, my cornering on this, man. I'm, I'm riding as a, as an 80 year old grandma. As this is not my bike, but when I get my Kajiva Mito up and running, because it does need some love I'll definitely uh, go and look for some nice and twisty roads because this bike is a blast man it's so weird you really have to uh, throttle up these bikes Even like to get going from a standstill and stuff, you really have to throttle these bikes. Pretty hard. But this is a lot of fun, man. Get going out of first gears requires a lot of gas. Man, I just, I just revved it out to 13,000. That's probably the highest I've ever revved an engine. That's amazing. I'm a little bit paranoid about my GoPro falling off again, not gonna lie. It does not pull out of a high gear whatsoever. Oh my god, this rear brake is fucking dangerous, bro. Very fun bike. Extremely rev happy. And in front of me you have the Suzuki. Really needs an exhaust, man. It's also kind of nerve-wracking letting somebody else Ride your brand new bike.
but I trust Vic. He's let me ride two of his bikes, so can't really complain. I think we're gonna slowly head home. Sun is going down rather quickly. Now winter time is coming. Which also means I can start working on my my Kajiva Mito in the winter time. So that's going to be fun. Feel free to subscribe if you want to be updated on my Kijivo Mito build. First video coming soon. It's an extremely fun bike, but it's one of those bikes that I do not want to daily. I, could, I would not be able to daily ride this bike like Victor is, is doing. He rides this bike every day. It's the only bike he has that's currently running, I think. So I could not do that. Not at all. It is <laughs> really uncomfortable if you're trying to do daily rides. Even more uncomfortable than my R125 was, it's even more aggressive. It does turn in really quick. I mean, I'm not really <laughs> leaning that much or doing amazing cornering, but I can feel the front wanting to turn in real quick. I know a road that's very good to take some nice corners. I've been there last week with my Suzuki. I'll definitely take uh, my Mito there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this test ride. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. I hope this will be uploaded because I have been struggling a lot. <laughs> GoPro mount not working. The microphone adapter not working. So I hope there's good audio. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye bye.